So if you have a vehicle and you think you have a bad fuel pressure regulator, I thought I'd go over the symptoms of a bad fuel pressure regulator and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. And so first of all, what is a fuel pressure regulator? Well, the fuel pressure regulator basically just maintains consistent gas pressure so that the fuel injectors can work properly. Because if the fuel pressure is really high, then it can cause misfiring and increase the vehicle emissions and things like this. But if the fuel pressure is too low, then it could cause performance issues, things like bad acceleration. So you go to step on the gas pedal and the vehicle just doesn't want to go like it used to, or you'll have long start times and things like this. And these regulate the fuel pressure by monitoring what the vacuum is at the manifold, since this changes as the vehicle speeds up or slows down. And so there's usually a vacuum hose that's attached to the intake manifold. And since the vacuum pressure in the engine is going to change as it speeds up or slows down, it uses this as a reference to adjust what the fuel pressure should be. Although keep in mind that some fuel pressure regulators don't work from the vacuum. They work with the computer to manage the fuel pressure going up to the engine. This is mainly like with Chrysler or Dodges or things like this. But just keep in mind that there can be some differences exactly what's going on with these fuel pressure regulators. They can even be located differently. For example, here's a 2002 Dodge Ram 1500 and the fuel pressure regulator is located right on the fuel pump. Many Chevys and Fords have it right up on the engine, right at the fuel rail, it makes it easier to get to. So keep in mind there can be some differences exactly what's going on with these. And also keep in mind that many newer vehicles no longer use a fuel pressure regulator, but the computer manages the speed of the fuel pump, which then can control the fuel pressure going up to the fuel rail. So many newer vehicles no longer use a fuel pressure regulator. And so what are some symptoms of a bad fuel pressure regulator? Well, first of all, long start times is a very common problem. So if you get in your vehicle and it's just taking longer to start than usual, that's a common sign of a bad fuel pressure regulator. Quite often the engine can also start misfiring. And when you go to check your code, you'll get something like a P0300 code because the engine's misfiring. So that's a common symptom. Another symptom is that sometimes you can start getting black smoke out the tailpipe because the engine's starting to run rich. And when this happens, it means that it's leaking right here where the vacuum goes into the intake manifold. Because if the regulator's gone bad and it's leaking fuel into the vacuum, the gas is going directly into the intake manifold. And so the engine's getting more gas than it should. And so it's causing it to run rich. It can also cause the engine to run lean if it gets clogged up or if it gets damaged or something like that. So not enough gas is going into the engine. It can also cause it to run lean. And this will cause poor gas mileage. It also caused poor engine performance since when you go to step on the gas, there's just not enough pressure there for the engine to work properly. And so how would you diagnose a bad fuel pressure regulator? Well, first thing to do, especially if you're getting like black smoke or something like that, is check this vacuum hose and check to see if there's any gas dripping out of it. Because if this is damaged, these quite often will leak gas into the vacuum hose going into the engine. And if it does have gas inside of there, then it's a sure sign that it's failed. The most common way to troubleshoot a bad fuel pressure regulator is to use a fuel pressure gauge and you attach it right up on the fuel rail. There'll be a Schrader valve that you can attach to and you can attach a fuel pressure gauge to it. And then you start up the engine and you check what the fuel pressure is. And this should match what the engine's rated PSI is supposed to be running at. How much pressure the engine's rated to be running at will be different depending on the vehicle. So be sure to look up what your Pacific engine is supposed to be running at. But basically you check to see if the pressure is running too low or too high. Now keep in mind if the pressure is running too low, it can also be caused by a clogged up fuel filter or even a bad fuel pump. But this would be the first thing to go and see is be sure that the fuel pressure is correct up at the fuel rail. And then what you do is you turn the key off and then you see if the fuel pressure holds. Because if that regulator is leaking, then this pressure is going to slowly start to go down. It won't go down extremely fast, but since there's nothing holding the pressure at the fuel rail, the gas is leaking back into the gas tank. And so the pressure is going to slowly start to go down. And this is one of the reasons that it causes long start times. And this is because in many vehicles, not all, but in many vehicles, the fuel pressure regulator holds the fuel pressure at the fuel rail when the engine's not running. And so if all the gas leaks out and goes back into the gas tank, then it's going to cause very long start times. The common way you could check to see if this is the problem is that if you do have long start times, what you do is that you take the key and you put it into the on position. You don't start the engine, you just put it into the on position for like two or three seconds and then you turn it off and then you put it back into the on position for like two, three seconds. And you do this like two or three times and then you check to see if the engine starts right up. If the engine starts right up while well, before it was having really long start times, then that's a common sign of a bad fuel pressure regulator because basically you're building back up the pressure and that gas hasn't drained back into the gas tank yet. So the engine's firing right up. But if you let the vehicle sit, all the gas is going to drain back into the gas tank and it's going to cause long start times. But the main method to check a fuel pressure regulator is to get a fuel pressure gauge, check it at the fuel rail, and you check to see what the fuel pressure is with the engine running. And then you check to see if it holds the fuel pressure when the engine's off. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to go over the symptoms of a bad fuel pressure regulator and how you go about telling if it has gone bad. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.